Hi, and welcome to How to Be a Stand-Up Comedian. We're going to guide you through the crazy world of making people laugh, getting your name out there, and filling up seats. But don't take my word for it. Let's go over to Lynn Lee. With two months experience, she has become the premier expert in the craft. Take it away, Lynn Lee. Hey everyone, it's Lee here. So I wanted to do like a video on like explaining like what makes a great comedian, okay? I feel like this is probably one of the most important videos you will ever watch as a comic um, because it will change your life, seriously. Um, I and first their name attracts an audience okay so what does that mean so if I put this person's name I know that people will come see it right so this is why hate marketing is great because it is really good for people to see how the other side is right so I was involved in hate marketing yesterday basically because um, when people even when people mass walk out, right, I can create a story where, you know, I'm a millennial conservative and these comics at an open mic totally walked out. Step one, make the audience hate you and walk out. In today's world of stand-up comedy, it's vital to get the audience to hate you. And if you can get them to walk out, even better. Club owners all over the country will tell you nothing makes them happier than an upset audience walking out of the club. Now I know what you're thinking. How are the clubs gonna make money if everyone's walking out and not buying drinks? Well, dum dum, it's quite simple. The clubs make their money on repeat business. Nothing makes a customer happier than leaving upset and sober. Cultivating hatred and clearing comedy clubs is just the first part of this step. The second part is harvesting that hate. A clever way to harvest is pandering to conservative boomers. It's a well-known fact that conservative boomers always feel under attack. That means it is quite profitable to turn yourself into a victim in their eyes by telling them the only reason people are leaving your shows is because you are a conservative. I was involved in hate marketing yesterday, basically, because um, when people, even when people mass walk out, right, I can create a story where, you know, I'm a millennial conservative and these comics at an open mic totally walked out and it was like the history uh, within like 16 years of like doing comedy, right? So that's basically extremely exceptional. I can pitch that story to OC Weekly. I can pitch that story to LA Times. I can pitch that story anywhere, right? So we're living in an age where it's just like, we are tired of like manufactured stuff. We want real stuff and hatred is real, right? So you wanna use that hatred in order to get um, booked, you want to get uh, use that hatred to get that PR, you want to do all that stuff. So now that everyone hates you and walks out of your shows, the next step is to sell tickets. And number two is to high sell high level of tickets, right? If it's a free show, you want to, and, and it's fine if you know it is, but it's like, how are you going to make it a living? How are you going to make it consistently something that you're doing all the time, right? So when you think about this, is this selling high tickets? Is this selling in terms of like, um, you know, stadiums, like, are you selling out Staples Center? Are you selling out, like, Madison Gardens? Step three, create a cult following. And number three, establishing a brand and a cult following. So my brand is Funny Millionaires. I don't want people who are starving hobbyists, right? And it's a really great target to go at because starving hobbyists is what many uh, people are, right? Like, if you're not getting paid for it, well, it's basically a hobby, right? So you want to think about, because, you know, people are like, you've only been in the game for, like, 40 days or whatever. But so what, right? What are the results? In summary, the first step is to make people hate you by artificially cultivating hate because people crave authenticity. Step two was to sell high tickets. And finally, step three, create a cult following, preferably of rich people, because average Joes have no money. Because after all, who's going to pay for the plastic surgery? Because I have dated a millionaire, a guy who made like a million dollars a year. Um, and that com comedian, he can't afford even the simplest plastic surgery for any woman anyways.